New this morning, Wilkinson County Schools have big plans for a brand new middle and high school building, but they need help from the taxpayers. And Pepper Baker joins us live in our studio with more on this project. Good morning, Pepper. Good morning, Caitlin and Aaron. Can you believe the current Wilkinson County Middle and High School has gone through nine renovations since it was first built in 1954? That's why district leaders are hoping to get voter support behind their plans for a new building. I mean, in order to have something better in the future, you have to make an investment. 11th grader Sydney Parks dressed as a rap star for Music Monday during Wilkinson County High's homecoming week. He hopes taxpayers will have the same spirit when they vote in November to fund a new academic building. Like having a new facility will give the, better, give the students a better environment and a chance to increase their capabilities. It would cost about $21 million. Superintendent Aaron Jeter and former board member Jerry Smith say it can happen with the support from voters. We're asking for a property tax referendum and we're looking to raise $16,370,000. And we of course would have to get permission from our voters to be able to do that. And that money would go directly toward a new middle high school. We have patched and patched and patched long enough. Give them what they deserve so that our children can have something to be proud of. The property bond referendum asked for a 2.5 mil property tax rate increase. It also includes the option to continue the current East Blast to pay for the new building. We're asking for the extension of the East Blast in the same question because that way we could do long-term planning and make sure that we effectively and efficiently spend those dollars to make sure that we get the most for our kids. It will expand their college and career programs, cost less to maintain, have up-to-date technology, and provide better safety for students. It's been a long time, over 50 years since we've had a new system uh, in place at our high school, a new school. And our children deserve this. They deserve better. If approved, the project will begin next summer and take about 14 months to build. Students will move to the old primary school next to the school board office on Main Street during construction. Jeter predicts the project would finish before 2021 school year. Caitlin, Aaron, back to you. All right, thank you, Pepper. Well, the district qualifies for a $5.5 million state grant that will go towards the project.